Peace, 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 peace. Okay, so I just got finished meditating. Um, and one of the things that came up in my meditation session was um, for so long, I was being what this here system wanted me to be and neglecting my God ability and doing things that you're not aware of, not realizing that you're the creator of your reality. And I'm scared, right? Some of you guys, you see me um, doing things different and um, it's a little frightening because it's like, I remember when I put out in the universe about me wanting happiness, peace, and money after reading this book. So after I read this book, I had put um, out in the universe happiness, um, peace, and money. And I think sometimes when we eggs source or whatever um for certain things we don't know if it's on its way or sometimes we don't know if we are being heard and um I, I just put that out in the universe and it was so funny how everything started like I started um I got a, a message from this guy from, you know, this group, Self Perfected, and it's like, basically, you start um, looking at your life, and it's like a personal development group, but better. Um, and then I started getting, um, well, I started listening to these, these, um, this playlist, and it had something to do with the things that I asked for, the happiness, peace, and money. And my whole thing is your desires, your journey, I know you probably think that it needs to be real difficult, right? Like you got to work so hard in order for you to have the true success that you desire for. But that's not true. I'm still learning each and every day. But one of the things that I do see in my life is when I go for the walks in the morning time, um, at times I don't want to do the walks. But when I go for the walks, um, for like an hour walk, what I notice is I'm talking more. I'm talking to people more. Um, I'm smiling more and you may think you alone on your journey, but you're really not. And there's other like-minded individuals that going to come and assist you, but you got to show up. You got to show up for you. And I don't know what tomorrow brings. And one of the things that I keep saying to the universe, um, and I keep putting out one day, one day, one more day, one more day. And that's sort of to keep me on this here track. And also what I noticed is life is really what you make it, you know. If you believe everything is working in your life, then everything is working. So the whole point of this video is you don't have to have it all figured out, but you have to show up for you. You have to do something different and it's okay to be afraid. The reason why you're afraid is because you're giving up that control of you 
you giving up the control and the aspect of, you know, you've been doing things the same way for so long and now you releasing the control you like you know i surrender because i clearly see this way isn't working and that's the the ego part of you it wants you to keep doing the same thing right it's a built-in system so it wants you to keep on doing the same thing it wants you to keep on showing up the way you've been showing up because if you show up that way then you keep the ego alive but once you start doing certain things that's different, it's like, um, you know, it, it, it's like you're not living off your ego. You live in from faith, you know, perspective, I say. Like you 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 doing something completely different. And that's why you're afraid. One of the things I got from my mentor, Bob Proctor, was in order for you to break that paradigm and in his book the cosmic path the mystic path to cosmic power by vernon howard one of the things he says is the paradigms and in order for you to break the paradigm the old you is going to try to stop you but you still show up you still show up. You still do what's best for you. And with that being said, I love you guys. Peace.